guy who was supposed to give me the job, it was his last day of working there. He interviewed me, but my resume ended in his desk, and the next day the person came in, couldn't find her. So they didn't know I was doing an interview, but they wanted to find out you know, how to make money. So you see, you have to follow up. You have to follow up. something from your DK and Y fabric that I sell a lot. You know, like, maybe I like this line and they like it and I cut it. And this is Albert Sakai's signature. I love the bit. So you just like, to me, that's the best thing because they make a little simple t-shirt for a beautiful, elegant dress. Try it yourself. This is the tapestry that I bought for $2 ago. Believe it or not. one ninety eight. This jacket is that everybody calls every Nisa and Nike you want. You can have it done on 38th Street and you can call it yourself. And if you do it satin, it's washable, but the whole catch with this that is being pleated before it's being sewn. So you can fit it. A lot of these in is beautiful, but they don't have any shape. So there's a box, and then you have to do it after. First you have to like estimate and hem, and it's okay, three to one, doesn't work for yourself. Just do it this way, it's easier. And it's sells. Women wear it to go to the opera. This is my other collection from that coach thing. I went somewhere and I liked something and I said, can I do this like a little bit different? This is my other work collection for me from PDC, right? This is sold already from leftover from Cynthia Rowley. And this is your bow tie fabric. Very expensive, but it's okay. This is beautiful. The little piece that makes a satchel then, she is a PhD woman, she knows how to tie it. 
This is my first stress that I got an A from my chairperson and a B plus from my teacher. <laughs> and she told me I am always going to be a B student no matter what I do. <laughs> this is the first stress I ever made with my own hand. And these bees were bought, like, you know, from all the trees and all the grass. We'll pray. That teacher taught me how to make the best stress in this way. She still looks good and still don't sell. <laughs> we have a copy, but cannot buy that here. And that's the dress that Colleen two years ago. Not a cute dress to say. This is something that's made for insertion for a model who came to the shop. This dress is only made for this person. I made the whole dress for this little guy. And this teddy bear is from my costume design in this school at the Metropolitan Opera. This sir has brought me more business than I could ever imagine. Every time my business was too slow, the dummy wears this skirt and stays in the street. <laughs> and it rains people in. This is a teddy coat. And if you're a costume designer, every piece you create as a costume designer belongs to you. And it's a costume design for modern men. One day I decided to call my choreographer, bring me every collection, then all the collections belong to me. But what am I gonna do with all these things I have <coughs> no use? So that person had it. This is another piece of the outerwear. There are only three pieces in my collection, as if anybody said. And it's been inspired just because they look good and they're easy to use and all that jazz. And people like it. This is my Upper East Side man. You know, the dog and the cat. But you know who buys, who buys this? Hip hop girls. They love this for today and it's slouching. But we'll see how many others we can sell. This is my jazz. I'm the only crazy one who wears all this crazy stuff. <laughs> and always get my customers, you know, like they always like to have it, but that's expensive. I would not sell that cheap, but they see this and they do something different. This is the cashmere shawl that I got in the The summer they I cut it off, chop it off, and put it together, and that's that. This is the other piece, which is a rubberized piece of skin, which is a big thing. This is my skirt. You see, I wear skirts. <laughs> Fashion is culture. <coughs> this is not a skirt, it's a pants. Okay. This was came about because I did alteration on growth period pants, they did not fit. And you know, like so I said, let me improve it for the customer and later on I made it for my birthday. <laughs> and I sold up to three orders already. This is not bad. It's not that something you wear. This is something that I made when I was a school student, you know, I do all the and this is not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> this coat is my fourth semester coat. And that little scalp of it is in this coat. Now that machine is great. <laughs> 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 Something that it was made from, this is a copy of Dolce & Gabbana dress. Exact copy. Somebody came and said, I saw this dress in Barney's and I want it. Can you make it? Sure. So you make a sample for the woman to wear and then you just modify it because Dolce & Gabbana had four days in the box, half four days in the box. And this is my son Roddy who wears clothes, but he's poor. 